forgive me if I'm a little winded. <laughs> Um, I mean, it's really not too much different from from North Carolina. I mean, it's not as humid, so I mean, there's that. But yeah, I mean, the heat's nothing new. So work is work. We're gonna do it regardless. You had an idea of what you know being a duck was gonna be like when coming in. Now you've got a few weeks of actually experiencing it on mm -hmm. the field. What's it been like? Yeah, what I mean, it's definitely surpassed my expectations. I mean, just being being in this this place, this facility is amazing. You know. Um, it's everything that I expected and more, like the resources available, the, pe the staff, the, the training room, everything has surpassed my expectations. It's, it's really a blessing to be here. How about the competition mm -hmm. that you've uh, kind of experienced facing in fall camp? Yeah, I mean, the competition level at a place like Oregon is definitely, is definitely something that you have to come, come bring it every day, you know. Um, you can quickly fall up and down the, the depth chart if you don't bring it every day. So st competing is definitely something we're going to do every day and yeah, so every day. When you, when you come in, you've had some experience under your belt. Do you feel like pressure to kind of meet up to people's expectations? Yeah, I mean, I don't think anybody has more expectations for me than myself. I mean, um, I'm very critical of myself and, and how I perform. So, yeah, I mean, if anybody's putting pressure on me, it's me. You said during, during the media, you're basically willing to play wherever they ask you to play. Have you been honing in on one spot or are you still kind of cross? Um, no, I mean, uh, I've been mostly playing uh, right and left guard. So, but either way, I mean, wherever they need me, I'll play. From what we've seen, it's been mainly with the ones out there, exclusively with the ones so far. Um, yeah, I mean, we're just moving around a little bit here and there. I mean, nothing's set in stone right now, but yeah, we'll see what happens. I hope that you build chemistry with a bunch of different. Yeah, players. I believe so. You know, working with everybody is important. I mean, no good offensive line is going to play only five players. So, I mean, the the idea is to definitely have more than just the the starting five to be out there. Are you trying to cut the, the 320? I mean, it's a couple pounds, not a huge difference, but are you trying to get down a couple? Or? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really think it's that much of a concern. Um, but yeah, 320, I would like to play at 320. I believe I'm closer to like 316 right about now. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, I'm comfortable at this weight. I think I'll probably stay right around here. Who's been the most difficult to match up so far for you in practice? Uh, yeah, well, at a place like Oregon, you know, the competition amongst the whole D-line is is really good. I mean, they all have their thing that they can get you with. You can't you can't take anybody lightly, for sure. But um, you know, some of the older guys, you know, they have a, some more tools in their box. You know, like Popo. Popo, he's a really good, really good pass rusher, and he gives me he gives me a lot of trouble. So yeah, I mean, I like going against him a lot. He's gonna make me better. People hear that for a nose tackle, and like again, fans here know it from a couple of years ago. He's been hurt, but just as somebody who's seeing it for the first time yourself. Like, 330 pound nose tackle would be pass rush. Yeah. What is it about him that allows him to have pass rush at that size? Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's a special creature. I mean, you know, just to be able to move the way he does at his size, it's something I've never seen before, but yeah, it's definitely special. You've got a really talented stable of running backs behind you. What's it kind of like as an offensive lineman knowing that when you do succeed up front blocking and make those holes that you can feel confident they're actually going to hit them? Oh, yeah, I mean, they make the job easy, you know. I mean, all we got to do is hold on for a few seconds and more likely than not, they're gonna they're gonna hit it and be gone with it. So, you know, we just have to do our job for them, and we know they're gonna do their job for us. How does how does Bo's leadership come across? Are there, are there examples that you've seen since you've gotten here of that? Oh yeah, I mean a lot. Um, during the summer when the coaches weren't around, you know, he was taking the lead um, during the walkthroughs and you know just telling telling receivers and explaining the whole playbook pretty much to the team, and you know just taking that that leader role like as it's something I've never seen from come come from another player, but I mean, it was really impressive to see his leadership and him just knowing everything that everybody has to do was really impressive. How big of a part to play did he have in your recruitment coming here and your decision to come here? Um, not too much. I mean, we had some conversations and he was definitely pulling for it, but yeah, I mean, just some conversations and me and him talked on the phone and texted a bit and yeah, but not nothing too much. We good? Yeah. Right. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.